Hey, uh, are we are we going? Are we live or what? Can you hear me? Hey, can you hear me? Hey guys, are we live? I I have no video. Can can you just make sure that Sukiana is, is synced up and ready to go? This is a very big interview and it has to go smooth. No, this is going to be a career-making interview. So please. Okay, we're live in five. All right. So five seconds. Can can you give me a countdown, please? Oh, come on, it's five seconds. Give me a countdown. I'll do it. Five, four, three, two, and one. Hi, Sukiana. It's so good to finally meet you. Thank you so so much for coming on to Darth News and speaking to myself and my viewers. Uh, we've been really looking forward to this interview and, and actually getting your side of things um, in regards to your your music, your career, your life, your lyrics. Uh, so I guess like right off the bat, um, I, I want to know what, what's your opinion or how do you feel about promoting or m more like encouraging uh, young women, girls, some as young as you know, 11 or 12 years old to have sex with multiple partners at a young age. Um, or as you would say, pussy popping bitches, right? That's what you promote in your music, I believe, correct? Is, is, isn't that right? Pussy popping bitches? Yeah. yeah, so you promote pussy popping bitches in your music, and I mean, you, you gotta know that your audience is uh, very young, so uh, we all know what the kids are listening to these days. I feel like being like sexual and shit, like, I don't see nothing wrong with that, cause baby, I got all uh, three kids. And I mean, I got these kids from sucking and fucking. I got these kids from sucking and fucking. At the end of the day, me being a hoe, like these people say, like, honestly, I liberate a lot of, a lot of hoes. You feel me? When I hear Cardi talk about popping some pussy, me and my bitches is witty. Like, oh, oh, I see. Ah, well, um, and if I'm gonna be honest, that wasn't the response I thought I was gonna get. But are, are, are you sure you wanna, you know, tell that to the kids? Listen, little bitch, we don't fuck with small talk. We associate with people that are known to call cops. See that shine from my wrist to my neck, so rocks. Gucci flip flops with Louis Vuitton socks. Man, I'm always doing work. The shit is nonstop. Fuck your bitch, blow inside the mouth just like a pop rock. Yeah, I've done a bit of dirt, but I've never got caught. And welcome back to a brand new episode of Darth News. Special edition, everybody hates pussy popping bitches. Today's video is gonna be a little bit shorter than usual, but it's still a very important video because this is what's happening to your children. I made a, a video about Netflix and what they're doing to your kids. Now you have these celebrities and these, these rappers and these professional sluts that are telling your kids to pop that pussy and suck that dick. Now, what makes this worse is that it's not just, you know, a rapper or some celebrity going on Snapchat or Instagram saying, you should suck dick for money. No, no. This is actually being promoted by Apple. This is an iTunes interview. This, this, this is the shit that is being promoted to your children. So because Apple is the one responsible for promoting this video, they are in turn also responsible for promoting you becoming a pussy popping bitch. So without further ado, let's jump into it. Applejack, hit it. Apple Music Cardi B interview promotes pussy popping bitches. I liberate a lot of hoes, you feel me? In a vulgar roundtable discussion for the New Music Daily on Apple Music, fellow rapper Sukiana, Suki, Sukiana, Su, Suki My Dicky, joined Cardi B and others to explain how the hip hop star inspires her to, and I quote, "be a hoe." During the discussion, Suki My Dicky explained how Cardi B's lyrics liberate a lot of hoes, saying, "When I hear Cardi B talk about popping some pussy, damn, me and my bitches is with it." I feel like being like sexual and shit, like. I don't see nothing wrong with that because, baby, I got uh, uh, three kids. And, I mean, I got these kids from sucking and fucking. Hang on. So, so you didn't have children because you were in love with your husband or you were ready for motherhood. Uh, no. But instead, it was because of the sucking and the fucking. You... So basically what you're telling me is that all three of your children should have been wiped up with a paper towel. At the end of the day, me being a hoe, like these people say, like, 
Honestly, I liberate a lot of a lot of hoes. You feel me? When I hear Cardi talk about popping some pussy, me and my bitches is witty. Like we that liberate us because it's like fuck you, self-respect ass hoes. Cause how y'all got self-respect? <laughs> <laughs> fuck you, self-respect ass hoes. Yeah, if you have any self-respect, fuck you. If you have any dignity at all, fuck you. If you were even able to comprehend what it means to have self-respect. You wouldn't look like some kind of Freddy Krueger BLM activist with your fucking nails. Like, what? what is that? And like that big ass ugly tattoo on your chest, it, it looks like a thousand dudes came on your chest and you never wiped it off. I know a blind guy that could make a better tattoo than that. Like, I don't think y'all got self-respect like that. Cause first of all, you supposed to tax these niggas. That's self-respect. You supposed to tax these niggas. That's self-respect. What, what does that even mean? You feel me? Like, I just, it make me feel liberated. Like, I love crossing boundaries. Oh, is that so? Well, hang on a second. There you go. Boundary. You cross it, I guarantee you, you will never flick the bean again. That's what, scare money don't make no money. If you gonna be scared to get that money, you gonna be scared to be yourself and say this who I am, then you ain't gonna get that coin like that. Thanks. I mean, if y'all too scared to start sucking and fucking, then you ain't gonna get that money, honey. Like, this is an absolutely awful message to send to women. You're saying that you have to suck a man's dick or fuck him to, to get that money to make it in life? So are you are you just at, you know attributing all of your success because you suck a good dick? That that just like you know takes away all of the good things of your success. Some would argue that you earned it, but to be honest, you didn't. You did not earn shit. These bitches are telling you that you should be a slut because I'm a slut. And if you're a slut, then we could be a slut together. It's like, oh, we're a big slut party. I'm a slut and the world operates around sluts. And there's no way a woman could be successful on her own. She has to suck and fuck the dick. If you're too afraid to suck that dick, then you ain't getting no money. No. Do not listen to this idiot. Work hard and it will pay off. Or you can always take a shortcut. I guarantee you these are the same cock juggling thunder cunts that when the Me Too movement came out, they just sat back and laughed. They're like, <laughs> you don't suck dick for fame? <laughs> I mean, the cringiest part of the video was like, to be honest, the very end, at the very end, when, when all four of the other girls were like, facts at the same time, like, like what she just said was fucking the, the gospel. What she just said was so much truth. She was speaking so much truth. It was beautiful. I mean, the bitch is like, you need to suck dick. And they're all like, yeah, yes, we do. <laughs> you say you have three children. You, oh my God, your kids should be taken away. I mean, I, I, I know like, look, I'm not telling you not to be a sexual person. Like I, I'm all for it. You know, like, I'm all for it. If you're a kinky motherfucker, then you can be a kinky motherfucker and I will respect you. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll join in, who knows? But the point is, that kind of shit you find out when you meet somebody behind closed doors. You don't just go promoting that kind of sexual behavior to a young audience on an iTunes interview. When I was growing up, let me tell you, I thought everything was inappropriate. Like, I hid everything from my parents. I, I went and bought Batman comics, and because they were violent, I didn't want my parents to see that I was, you know, like, reading violent comics. Uh, I still remember when my dad found my Blink-182 CD, and, and it was, like, super inappropriate for, like, a nine-year-old to have. And he was like, where did you get this? And he broke it right in front of me, and oh, man, I was, I was pissed. But he was even more pissed. He was like, you're a bad kid! And I was like, I'm a bad kid! He was in for a surprise, you know, a few years later when he found my, you know, Eminem CD. But my point is, growing up, you know, like, my parents, they, they thought everything was inappropriate. I mean, they're super cool now. But growing up, like, they're like, you can't do this, you can't do that. I mean, they're super conservative. They're like, no, 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 no. And now they're like, hey, fuck it, do whatever you want. Which is really cool, so that's not that's nice. But my point is, the world was shocked when Britney Spears went out with the snake in that see-through outfit. Oh, man, they were like, oh! Oh, it's too hot to handle. She's a slut. And then remember the, the whole Janet Jackson thing? The nip slip? Re remember that with Justin Timberlake? Oh yeah. How can you forget the nip slip? That was like frowned upon. People were pissed. People were pissed. 
So jump 15 years into the future and what do we have? We have rappers telling your kids that they should be sluts. They're not just telling your kids, they're really encouraging it. Like they're like, I got three kids, it's fine. You can just be a slut, just suck as much dick as you want. And the good thing about sucking dick is you can swallow and you can't get pregnant. If you let your boss give you anal, he'll give you any salary you want. You just say, I want at least 35,000 a year and he'll do it. He'll make it happen. Just let him put it in your booty hole. There's your 35 grand a year, no problem. And that about wraps up this episode of Darth News Special Edition. Everyone hates pussy popping bitches. Thank you so goddamn much for tuning in. I do appreciate the view. I appreciate you spending a few minutes of your day with me. Really means a lot. I know, especially in these crazy times. And I double appreciate you watching this video because it's not an Amber Heard video. But I'm speaking about this video. Do you think this woman is correct? Do you think she is um, on the right track? Do you think she's saying the right things to her young audience, her young, impressionable audience? Or do you think she's doing the devil's work? Personally, I, I think it's the latter. And that's all I really have to say on that. So until next time, don't forget to pull out. That is P-O-O-L. And as always, if you enjoyed my content even a little bit, then please hit that motherfucking notification bell because my channel is absolutely shadow manned and my content does not get recommended. I say a lot of naughty words, so um, if you, if you like what I'm doing here, please like the video. That, that's, all I, that's all I ask. Like the video. I mean, if, if you really didn't like the video, then go ahead and dislike it. Like, I don't care. I would rather have zero dislikes, but I'm, I'm going to assume I might get a few on this one. Uh, so I decided that I want to close this video out with some final thoughts. That's T-H-O-T-S. And my final thought is this. Nobody wants to marry a slut. Nobody wants to have kids with a slut. You want to be a slut? That's fine. Don't have kids. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, I didn't know everybody would agree so, so much. This is weird. I feel awkward. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Take care.